Hi everyone and thanks for playing this video. What I plan to do is show you how this really simple pattern will open up the entire fretboard for you in a really simple way and it's a pattern that's all on a single string. This pattern is simply three notes, double space, two notes, double space, three notes. And it's that simple. Obviously there's two notes here and also a double space here, but it's really, if you can remember this simple 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two pattern, it'll allow you to move all over the fretboard and it'll even allow you to find the key of pretty much any song in about 10 seconds. And then with a few tips and tricks, you'll be able to learn double stops, triads, scales, modes, and chords, and all sorts of things like that. And you really don't even need to know the name of any of the notes or really much theory. It does help for sure if you have an understanding of some of the basic concepts, but you're gonna get a lot out of this even if you don't know any theory or even many of the notes at all. So the plan is to do seven lessons and uh, I would encourage you to do them in order. And the first one will be just how to learn to solo with just one simple pattern. The second one will be how do you use this pattern all over the fretboard. The third one is then how do you use this 3-2 pattern to simply learn the major and minor scales. And then use this 3-2 pattern to cleverly navigate over the entire fretboard. Then use this 3-2 pattern for, to help you figure out the key of a song in about 10 seconds. And again, using this 3-2 pattern and a few little tips and tricks, find double stops and triads using that pattern. And then finally, learn major minor modes, 1-4-5 scales and chords using this 3-2 pattern. In this first lesson, you'll learn to solo with just one simple 3-2 pattern, and it's basically the pentatonic scale. So let's get started. So the 3-2-3-2 pattern is pretty simple. If you're playing in the key of C, you start here on a C, then you go up two to a D, then to an E. So that's the three part of the pattern. Then you skip two frets and get to, and that's the G and the A. So it's, or you can go down instead of going out and go down to here, which is a G and A as well. So that's a two, three, and then another two. And so if you can remember that simple pattern, the rest of this lesson will be really, really simple. But before we start, let me just give you a little bit of a background about, uh, about myself and how I came to be starting to do all these lessons. So I started playing guitar in the early 1980s and I probably maybe like a lot of you guys out there, I played chords and that was about it. And you know, soloing just seemed way too complicated for me. And then just a few months ago, what I decided to do is, why don't I just try and figure all this out? And when I did that, I did what probably a lot of people do is I go to the internet and I found some amazing teachers out there. And I watched hundreds of videos and got tips and tricks and I went through all of those and I eventually got the concept of how you're supposed to solo. Now, I'm not really good at it. I've only been playing uh, or trying to play solos for around uh, 10 or 11 months. Um, but it's, you know, I'm good enough to sound at least decent and have some fun with it. I'm also, uh, in my real career, I'm a prof uh, at the University of British Columbia and I teach pharmacy and medicine. And my entire career has been spent trying to take something that is complicated and making it simple in the area of medicine. And I've done a lot of this in putting together uh, guidelines for how to use uh, different lipid medications and cannabinoids and, and so on. And what I thought I could do is if I took all of these tips and tricks, and then what I did is I analyzed all of the sort of concepts and patterns and sort of decoded it all, if you will, and I came up with what I think is a very useful, simple visual approach to how to think about soloing and a whole bunch of other things in regards to playing in the guitar. So let me orient you to what a lot of the images will look like. So this is obviously just a fretboard and uh, just it's your guitar, let's say, and it's basically looking down on your guitar. That's where the nut is. Those are the strings, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and those are the frets. So this is a key part of this pattern that I'm talking about, the 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. So this 3-2-3 three, three pattern is simply the pentatonic notes of any major or minor scale. And in this case, it's the C scale. And the cool thing about it, that all these notes sound good if you were soloing in the key of C. A pentatonic scale is just five notes, uh, C, D, E, A, and G in this case, of the full sort of Do, Re, Mi scale, the C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And as I was mentioning, they all sound good if you're playing a song in C. And interestingly, 
uh, you might recognize this pattern because it's exactly the way black notes on a piano are laid out. And those are actually laid out in a pentatonic way. And I just thought uh, you might find this useful. Now the notes obviously uh, on a piano are not uh, C, D, E, A, and G. They're actually C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. It's just another way of getting you to remember this 3-2 visualization. So let me just give you uh, an example of using this concept in a song that's in the key of C major. This pattern contains the pentatonic notes of the C scale. And so if you just literally stay on those notes, you can make it sound pretty good but from a solo perspective. So I'll just sort of show you an example. Nothing, you know, special, but just stay on the notes. So that's the three. Go up to the two. Back to the three. Now you get down here to the two. Up to the three. Back up to the two again. I'm not trying to play anything special here, I'm just showing you the notes. Now the cool thing about all of this is the, these, the major and minor pentatonics repeat in the same way on every string. And what I'm showing you here is that the, on the top part of this is the major pentatonic scale, or the root, second, third, fifth, and sixth. And again, it repeats in this 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two fashion. And if you're playing in a major pentatonic, the root is the very first part of that three pattern. If you have your root three steps down, you're now playing in a minor pentatonic scale. And they, uh, the relative minor is the identical notes to the major pentatonic, but the relative minor has different tones, if you will. They, in, instead of having a root two, three, five, six, it's a root flat three, four, five, flat seven, and so on. So the major and minor pentatonics uh, re really repeat in the same way on, on every string, as I was saying. So if this is the C pentatonic, as we were doing before, an A minor is exactly the same notes, except instead of starting on a C, you start on an A. So you start down here, and then you go up to the three. And so it's exactly the same notes, but you're just starting on an A, if you're playing in A minor or on a C if you're starting in C, but it's always the same two and then three and then two. Again, as I pointed out, you don't need to know all this sort of not uh, this notation or this theory, but it does help somewhat because you can actually understand the whole thing that I'm talking about without really needing to know the notes. So it's literally just understanding this pattern with the major pentatonic and the relative minor pentatonic being sort of shifting that root note three frets down the fretboard. You just need to know the pattern. And the pattern, as I mentioned over and over again, is just three, two, or. So that's the end of lesson one. So why don't you go and try and practice around using that pattern that I've shown you with you know a number of different uh, backing tracks. Uh, Probably easiest if you start with a C backing track or an A minor, if you will. But uh, if you're adventurous, just uh, find any backing track and just make sure you start your solos on the correct place for those three two notes. And then we'll get into lesson two, where you'll learn how to navigate over the entire fretboard and find these three two three two patterns everywhere. So thanks for listening, and uh, I hope you have fun just playing around with some of these ideas. And uh, we'll see you in lesson two.